We're certainly going to be talking about Primo today and talking about what, uh, what Primo can do, how it works, how you can get the best out of it. Um, we're going to show you a little trial as well that we've been running, show you how it can actually have an effect on, on the turf and what it, should be, uh, what it should be doing and bringing to the turf and bringing to the actual performance of the turf as well. Right, as I said at the beginning, we're going to just briefly explain how Primo works and, and what it does. You guys, a lot of you guys will be well aware of anyway, but it is important to understand what it's doing inside the grass plant because what it actually does inside the grass plant allows it to create these unique, um, unique uh, attributes that it gives to the grass plant to make it a better performing grass plant, basically. So basically, some, si some simple uh, uh, pictures here to show you what's going on with, uh, with Primo. So you can see here, this is the treated and this is the untreated plant and you can see straight away there's, uh, there's a big difference there and it really demonstrates much better than I can in words what's actually happening to the plant here. This is a, um, uh, a plot that uh, we were working on a couple of years ago, a trial that we were working on a couple of years ago, where this had two applications of Primo at 0.8 of a litre per hectare. This was untreated and you can see that the treated plant has a much denser growth habit, the leaves are, are much smaller the colour of the leaves are, uh, are a lot greener and so everything is, is much more concentrated in the, the treated leaves and um, you, can see, you can see there's some clear differences there straight away. The thing that uh, you can't see because my thumb is over it is that uh, I'm covering up their increased stolon activity and uh, I'm in increased root activity down here. So why is it doing that and how is it doing that? Well, very much in a nutshell, what Primo does is it interrupts the gibberellic acid pathway inside the grass plant. Now, you don't need to uh, 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 take that uh, home with you too much, but what gibberellin is responsible for inside the grass plant, it's responsible for cell elongation and for vegetative growth. And so, apart from other things, that is what it's primarily responsible for. What Primo does is it interrupts the gibberellic acid pathway inside the plant and it blocks it, so it stops the vegetative growth part of the plant. However, the plant still continues to grow. In fact, the metabolic rate of the, uh, the grass plant more or less stays the same. And this is really one of the key points I want to get across because when you talk about plant growth regulation, you think that you're actually stopping the grass plant from growing, but you're not. It's just you're making it grow in a different way. So instead of the energy of the plant going up into the green bit, it's being diverted and it's going out and downwards and that is the key thing with Primo and that's what sets it apart from all other plant growth regulators and that's why uh, the plants stay healthy and they have other uh, performance benefits which I'll uh, come on to in a minute. But that very much is in a nutshell how Primo works, it stops it going up and it goes out and downwards. I'll show you a few more slides. This is some of the benefits that you get from when you're using it and so we have a bowling green uh, sample here. This is uh, following a, um, a Primo uh, application a couple of years ago. It was um, a whole program actually, started in April, every four weeks on the bowling green, um, all the way through the year until the middle of September. And you can see here, the samples were taken in September, and you can see straight away the differences in the, in the root depth. And some people have said to us, well, that's not actually a, a true representation of, of what's happening. So we wanted to do some lab trials. So you can see here, we've done some lab trials as well, which shows uh, the same sort of thing. There wasn't so much Primo put on this one. It's actually only three applications, 0.8 of a litre, um, once a month approximately. And you can see the difference in, in root density. And when you've got a plant that has a much better and stronger root system on it, you've got a much healthier and, and stronger plant, be better able to uh, uh, perform in difficult conditions such as drought, uh, etc. Just show you on density here. This just gives you some idea of what you're actually uh, uh, getting from the plant. This is a, a couple of applications just applied to uh, Primo, treated and untreated. And you can just see, you just get a much denser grass ward where you can see the ball sitting up here. So, so instead of it growing up, it's growing out and down. 